Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. What a great morning it is, guys. What a morning. Woo. Wait. What is this? Hey guys, it's your boy Jam Auto Tech. As you can see, my morning didn't start out as well as I wanted it to. I have a leak. I hate these kinds of leaks. I hate radiator problems. I hate overheating problems. I hate all of those problems. So we're gonna get it fixed today and I'm gonna carry you guys along. My radiator is the weld up type of radiator. That's the one with the copper core, meaning that mine can be corrected by welding. There's a higher chance that your radiator will be the plastic tank or the aluminum core. If that's the case, the tank can re be replaced. So don't make anybody change your old radiator. You can get the tank for your radiator, change the tank alone. If the core is leaking, I've been using epoxy for years, guys. Even on turbo vehicles, I haven't had a problem since. So, I'm telling you this off experience. You can use epoxy to fix leaks on the core. Don't use epoxy on the tank itself. It will burst back. Use epoxy on the core. The tank, if the tank is leaking, change the tank. Mine is a metal tank. Mine can be welded. So. We're gonna remove the radiator, carry it to the radiator specialist, let him weld it up, and I'm gonna carry you guys along. Morning guys, let's get it. Well guys, after you verify that you have a leak, you can remove the tester. Man, still can't believe this. Then you're going to move this shroud. My vehicle has the viscous fan yours might be electrical so on your vehicle you might remove you might have two fans held in by four bolts or one straight long fan electrical mine is not electrical so i am only removing this shroud you have two tens on this side two tens on this side remove the overflow the overflow pipe then the radiator is held in by four twelves on the side held to your chassis and obviously you have to remove the upper and lower radiator hose oh and by the way remember to drain the coolant especially if you just bought coolant and you have a leaking problem oh yeah my day is going well what are the tools that you're going to be needing a flat 14 10 a 2 inch and a 6 inch extension and the anger that's all you're going to need well, if you have a pickup like this, drain the cool and yeah, be environmentally friendly. I'm not using that back though. You can, but I'm just gonna get new coolant. So you can remove the when it gets low enough. You can remove the top hose. Get this top hose done. Get out of here. Let's do this. I hate radiator problems. You hear that? That is what you call corrosion. Ooh. Oh yeah. 
this is a very strenuous job guys I'm just gonna show you most of the disassembly but let's get that out of your way remove the tens on the sides now and that's you one out when you get the last one out remove the fan shroud as I said the wall oh yeah anyways That was the that was the drain plug that flew right off. Yeah, look at that mess. So here we have space. So you're gonna remove that bottom hose, and then when you remove that, you have. The twelves on the sides to remove. Let's do this. Here's my setup. Use it to remove these now. filled out so ensure that's not screwed out too much uh, what happened to me might happen to you so let's get this to the radiator man make it correct it here it was repaired already that was a uh, repair so let's go <laughs> about Jamaica is a hundred percent. Well it's up. Cleaning process. End up on more lead than we did expect. <laughs> <laughs> you find it. So if you're in the cool at night, you find them easy, you know? Yeah, okay, so the, the whole residue. Let's go and see this one. Mm -hmm. I brush it once, you know? That's why I'm not like using them. I want to be a joke. See the bung them up. Specialist. Mm. <laughs> oh skill. You know what is skill? Yeah. Yeah, for release. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good good man. We bingo, we bingo, we bingo. Bingo. Can go on the road in peace now. Yeah. Hear that Lord. pressure. 
Well guys, it's done. I'm going to show you a nice little trick to get it all fresh. Rest it down. Get yourself some black spray. Get it all crisp again. We already know we gotta be neat. All you do is go back through the steps in reverse order and you will be good put on the holes the bottom holes catch up the mounts on the side of the radiator put in your shroud then you catch the upper radiator hose and you'll be done i won't be showing you that part so let's get it now it's time to get your coolant and you're gonna pour it in Straight in until it's full. That's when you're finished, guys. Just straight in here until you're full. And then you start the vehicle and make it circulate to get all the air out of the system. Let's get to it. Ensure you fill this reservoir to the full mark as you can see at the top there the full mark is right there that's a full mark so you fill it up to that mark this is the overflow buckle whenever the way the system works whenever this is hot right whenever the engine gets hot pressure causes the fluid to expand this cap releases the pressure and send over some of the coolant into this reservoir this reservoir contains some of the basically this reservoir is there to lower the pressure of the whole system when it's hot basically it increases the boiling point of the water so it can of the coolant sorry so it sends over the coolant into the bottle the bottle stores it and whenever the system get cooled down the cap, um, the cap basically forms a vacuum and sucks back the coolant back into the radiator and fills it up back. That's when it cools down and the fluid contracts causing a vacuum and this cap pulls back the water this way. So if you have a problem where your battery keeps pulling up, here's one of the problem guys. All I need to do now is start the vehicle. You see the coolant work now, so now you have to tap it up. Don't close it same time. Watch it as it circulates until all the bubbles are gone. Then you put on your cap and that's it guys. So there, I picked my leak and I'm good. Peace out guys. <laughs>